In previous videos, we have learned that all accounting transactions have at least two sides, and that these sides increase or decrease using special numbers called debits and credits. When these numbers are recorded correctly, total debits always equal total credits, and the accounting equation still balances. This helps us know that the accounting is recorded correctly. To help visualize the debits and credits of every transaction and ensure that everything still balances correctly, accountants often use a tool called a T account. It is called a T account because the tool looks like a capital T. Let's look at how we can use T accounts to analyze a transaction. At the top of the T, you will record the name of the account you are using in your transaction. On the left side of the T, you record any debits, and on the right side of the T, you record any credits. For example, let's imagine that we are analyzing the following transaction. The company is paying rent for $1,500 in cash. What are the two sides of the transaction? The company paid cash and received rent. The accounts for these are cash and rent expense. So let's write these on the top of our two T accounts. Let's look at cash first. Cash is an asset because it's something that the business owes. We are paying cash, so it is decreasing. Looking at our debits and credits worksheet, when assets decrease, that makes them a credit. So let's record the $1,500 decrease in cash on the right or credit side of our T account. Now let's look at rent expense. Rent expense is a short-term payment that relates to operations, so rent expense would go in the expense category. We are increasing our expenses, so looking at the worksheet, expenses increase with a debit. So let's record the $1,500 increase to rent expense on the left or debit side of the T account. Notice that if we look at just one T account, the debits and credits of that account don't balance. Cash has no debits but a credit of $1,500. Rarely will the debits and credits of a single account equal each other, and that's okay so long as the total debits and total credits of all T accounts collectively are equal, and in this case they are. The total of all left or debit sides of our T accounts are $1,500, and the total of all right or credit sides of our T accounts are $1,500 as well. The T accounts are a useful tool to help visualize simple transactions like this one, but you can also use them to record multiple transactions together by simply adding more numbers to the debits and credit sides of the T accounts. For example, what if the company also bought supplies for $800 and paid in cash? Cash would be a credit again because it is decreasing, and the debit would go on our supplies account like this. So by adding an additional T account as needed, we can record any number of transactions and visualize them quickly and easily using T accounts. When you start adding multiple transactions, one of the confusing parts of T accounts is totaling the balances in each account so that you know how much is in each account. These balances are very useful as we approach the end of the accounting period and begin creating financial statements. Let's imagine that you had multiple transactions that involved cash and your T account for cash looks something like this. To total a T account, first add up all of the numbers on the normal balance side of the account. Remember that the normal balance is the increasing side of the account. Cash is an asset, so it increases on the debit side, so that means it has a debit normal balance. So let's total all of the numbers on the left or debit side. Once you have the normal balance total, we need to deal with the opposite side. Remember that in accounting, opposites subtract. So we will need to subtract all of the right or credit amounts from the total debits we calculated a second ago. The total of the normal balance side minus the opposite side's total is the account balance. This is the total value of money that is represented by that account. The last step is to record this balance on the T account. T account balances are always recorded below a horizontal line. So let's draw a line across the bottom of the T account below the debit and credit amounts. If the account balance is positive, it is written below the line on the normal balance side. If the balance is negative, remember that we don't write it as a negative number, we simply write it as a positive number but on the opposite side. Since our balance is positive, we'll record it on the normal balance side like this. So now we've seen how to analyze and record single transactions and multiple transactions using T-accounts, and we've learned how to total account balances from a T-account. 
While this may seem like a basic skill, T-accounts are widely used by accountants to understand even complex transactions because they make the transactions easy to follow in a visual way. To learn more about T-accounts and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos or visit torynorman.com.